I did a, a post and uh, it was on Twitter. This isn't the first time that I mentioned this, but you can see it here. Um, and I said, went from gun control talk right back to hating the cops that fast. Huh? And just for reference, what, what ends up happening or what ended up happening is that some shit happened out there and uh, some kid, guy was killed in uh, Minneapolis, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and by the police. And the narrative was just immediately switched. Of course, I saw, I've seen people on the timeline that were just talking about gun control. Now they're talking about uh, so sick of black men being killed by, by the police, blah, blah, blah. You know, the, the typical stuff. Unfortunately, some people can't connect the dots as far as why those antithetical positions. In fact, the guy out of Minneapolis, if I'm not mistaken, the initial warrant that he had was pertaining to like some gun control. I don't know. The, I'm not going to pretend like I knew the exact details, but I think he had like illegal possession of a firearm, whatever the hell that is, which isn't a thing. Uh, well, according to them, it is. But you get what I'm saying. Right. Um, now, and if that is indeed all that, that if he, if he, if he has a warrant for that or feeling like to appear to court for that, I just want to be the first to say, uh, that that's not a crime. There's no crime. in now uh, if he obviously shot a mother, like, yeah, that that's, that's a crime. Can't just go and shoot him, but just simply possessing a firearm ain't no such thing as an illegal, uh, possession. I mean, I mean, I guess it is a such thing according to the state, but you get what I'm saying? It's not a crime. There's no, there's no, uh, victim there. Right. Um, and, Unfortunately, of course, not only the guy being killed, but watching guys just just struggle, struggle to try to connect those dots. And I'm going to show you all an example of this right here. The guy responds, oh, shoot, wrong overlay. Question mark, series of question marks. They, they, don't, they just don't get it. What the fuck does one have to do with the other? <laughs> they they don't understand. These are stupid people that you're dealing with, guys. I know I say that a lot, but understand that this is the type of people that you're dealing with. They're stupid. But I will break it down for you. I'll do that for you. Why, why not? i help you out. Okay? Gun control. Gun laws. Which is what guys like himself have probably been advocating. Firearms, bad. Certain ones, especially the, 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 uh, the, the ARs. They hate those. Okay? Um, those should be banned. Magazine capacity. All of that sort of stuff, depending on where you're at. All of those are enforced by police. I, I hate to break it down to you. The people that you hate so much, brainlet, the people that you hate so much are the ones that are frontline and enforcing it. It's not, uh, you know, Bernie Sanders. It's not whatever gun control advocate, Beto O'Rourke, Robert uh, Francis. It's not him. It's not those guys that are enforcing anything. They may participate in advocating for the legislation, new laws but believe it or not gun control is enforced by way of the cops so this is why it's hilarious to see people chime in on the whole gun control yes we need more gun control then have a cab in their in their uh bios right then have a cab in their bios he doesn't have it he has some stupid like fascism what some quote by some activist who I guess said fascism is capitalism plus murder. It's a very stupid statement. So it doesn't, it doesn't, I guess, surprise me that he would also be too stupid to realize the connection, one having to do with the other. He simply doesn't seem to understand that the gun control is enforced by way of the state goons um, and, and front lines that's the, called the police officers. So any event that you are in error, doesn't matter if it's a legitimate crime or nothing. If the state deemed it as illegal, in the event that that happens, whether it's possession uh, of whatever uh, a gun that they they claim that you didn't get the proper way, doesn't matter if you committed any crime. It doesn't matter if they deemed it as so what gun control is. It turns people into criminals that aren't criminals. 
uh, because the actual criminals don't even follow these uh, gun control laws. Nonetheless, any event that you are in there, the state comes and they send the goons known as the police to do whatever it is. You even see the police officers. I know you see these uh, like brain dead, uh, 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 like inept, just unable to read the room. And they'll post on their Twitter accounts and everything. Hey, look at all these illegal guns we got off the streets. <laughs> they'll see that if you look at some of uh, the police departments and their Twitters and how much good. Because, yeah, apparently just possessing weapons is bad or something like that. Nonetheless, activists are too stupid to connect the dots. And they don't seem to understand that the poll, the people that they hate. So when you say ACAB, you hate all cops or bastards, okay, whatever. But then you turn around and you're like, we need more gun control. I have to call you a dumb son of a bitch because there's nothing else to describe you. You're ex that's what you are. You, you, you can't connect the dots. And then when you do say it and people are like, what? 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 What, 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 are you, what, what, what does one have to do with the other? <laughs> I don't know. What, you, you thought that you passed the gun, gun control laws or whatever and then uh, I guess the, at the snap of a finger, uh, uh, Thanos, I guess, did, makes the guns just disappear or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Like, what do you think happens? What do you think happens when a red flag law is implemented? And, and, uh, and like that happened in uh, and, uh, Arundale or whatever it's called uh, out in uh, Maryland, if I'm not mistaken, near Baltimore, where they were enforcing a red flag law because snitching, uh, uh, man, watch your family, seriously, snitching family members. Talking about they worried because a guy has a gun. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, they come to enforce the red flag law. The guy says, go screw yourself. They shoot him dead. We covered that on this channel. It happened a couple of years ago. That type of stuff happened. Who do you think enforces it? Well, you didn't think that far. Oh, you thought, uh, I, will, uh, I, think, I think gun control means that it'll keep the streets safe. So why would that be for it? And then you turn around and then... Uh, anybody, well, it's usually a black man has to get shot, but when white people get killed by the cops, uh, which happens more often uh, than, than what they think, that doesn't even matter. But black person gets caught now. Uh, get, well, no, I'll take that back. Take that back. Let me backtrack. When someone non-black gets shot, um, especially if it's like in a mass form, like if it's multiple people get shot anywhere but Chicago, excuse me, uh, then at that point, that's when they play the gun control card. But again, we're dealing with literally stupid people and stupid people can't connect the dots and they don't understand that they it, it, this, this, the cops are the ones that enforce these gun laws and all the ones that have historically exist. And that's been my criticism of Republicans or conservatives that worship that entity entity because they don't seem to understand. Like when you have blue lives matter and then you have uh, also a flag that says come and take it, you ain't connecting the dots at all <laughs> at all. You just watched a clip from my podcast for Canon's sake. Catch us live at 12 p.m. throughout the week over at youtube.com slash youngripper59 and follow us over at odyssey.com slash at youngripper59. If you want to watch the entire video cast after the show is over, just be sure to become a member on the YouTube channel. Of course, the full audio portion of the podcast is available for free on all major digital platforms or just visit forcanonsake.com.